Well, again, it depends how much body fat they have, because that's the key. That's what you convert. You convert the body fat into energy. And as long as you've got that going, you're okay. But once you run out of body fat, you then start to break down your protein, and that's disaster. And so you will die ultimately. And if you look at the Irish people who went on hunger strikes, they, they probably last 40 or 50 days. And these are thin people who start on, a, a fast, on fasting. But you will die within about 40 or 50 days. But if you have large fat stores, as I've indicated, you can last up to 300 or 400 days. So when does one stop fasting? I think that it depends how fat you were when you started. I think that's the key. And once you get down to a normal body composition, then you probably are right, and then you should do it intermittently. So I think we have to distinguish between prolonged fasting and intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is what many of us do. We eat in an eight-hour period, and then we don't eat for 16 hours. And that's beneficial because in those 16 hours, you get your insulin levels down, your glucose goes down. And insulin is a key driver of many chronic diseases, including cancer. It's becoming realized that this high insulin state destroys your brain, causes, is a factor in causing cancer, causes hypertension, heart disease, blood clotting. The whole bang shooting match is all due to high insulin levels. So the longer you can keep your insulin down, the better for you. So 16 hours a day is ideal. Once you take it further than that, you, what your benefit is, you're going to lose body fat, and particularly you're going to lose fat in the abdomen. And that's beneficial. But again, as I've indicated, once you get back to a normal weight and you've used up your fat, then the risk is that you're going to start burning muscle protein, and that's not good. We really need to, to keep our, our muscle very... We need to keep as much muscle as we can for as long as we can because losing muscle is another key predictor of ill health and rapid aging.